Today we're working on a 2017 Volvo V60 with a 2 liter engine and we're going to test and diagnose the electric coolant pump. The electric coolant pump allows a variable amount of coolant to be circulated in the cooling system at any given time. The engine control module varies pump speed and coolant delivery via LIN bus determined by engine temperature and driving conditions. The pump is mounted to the front of the engine and has a three wire connector. It is supplied battery positive volts from a 50 amp fuse located in the engine compartment distribution box, has a LIN bus connection for pump control and feedback, and a backup monitor circuit to ensure pump operation in the case of a fault in the LIN bus circuit. The pump is grounded through the pump body to the crankcase. Using our iScan diagnostic software in the engine data stream under the menu item General Miscellaneous, we have the ability to monitor pump desired and actual speed. When the engine is at idle speed and the engine reaches 176 degrees, the pump will begin to cycle on and off at 750 RPM. At idle speed and once the engine reaches 180 degrees, the pump will run continuously at about 750 RPM. What we normally see is a desired pump value above 0 to 750 will result in an actual speed of 750 RPM, which is minimum pump speed for an idling engine. Once the desired value is above 750, it will match the actual pump speed. It's important to remember this because I get a lot of questions about pumps running faster than desired at idle, and this is a normal condition. If the pump data displays an RPM of 5,000, the LIN bus might have a fault, as this is the emergency pump speed. If the emergency circuit has a fault, the ECM can still control the pump speed. A fault code will be set. Emergency operation will not work. Using a scope in conjunction with our iScan diagnostic software, we can monitor speed and the pump circuit to test electrical function of the pump. Before digging too deep, it's always smart to check for fault codes. This vehicle has a communication fault code stored. This gives us a direction as well as confirmation that our circuit tests are needed. To test the circuit, I have my scope connected to the LIN bus on channel 1. Pump battery positive measuring current on channel 2. And the backup circuit on channel 3. Idling the engine, we can see that the pump cycle in the data PID when the engine temperature is above 176 degrees. Let's zoom in on the data and see what's happening on the circuit. The LIN bus looks normal with a digital signal. The backup circuit is steady at battery positive volts and pump current cycles on at about 2 amps then settles down to just about a half an amp before cycling off. Once engine temperature reaches 180 degrees, the pump is cycled on at 750 RPM and current is steady at just about a half an amp. Let's induce a short on the LIN bus and see what happens with pump control. After about 15 seconds, pump speed reaches about 5000 RPM and maxes out. Pump current draw reaches 22 amps. With these known values, you can confirm you have good communication on the LIN bus, confirm the backup control signal is present, and confirm coolant pumping using current draw. Thanks for watching. Check our other videos for more helpful diagnostic tests and procedures.